Hello, I'm Vicki Chow from WSLR 96.5 FM's Truly Sustainable Sarasota and the host of Going Green on the Education Channel. Solar-powered vehicles are defined as cars which run on energy from the sun. They got their first recognition as a possible transportation method through a series of annual races across Australia. Now the variety of vehicles is changing as the green movement has allowed for versatility in solar power. In this episode of Going Green, we'll see how a local college is launching a renewable energy transportation prototype for other college campuses to follow. Everybody here in Sarasota recognizes this institution as one of the creme de la creme institutions in the world, not just in the area or in Florida, but in fact in the world. And they have bragging rights on a number of different issues in terms of being an institution who is one of the top undergraduate institutions and has all kinds of incredible things that they can stick their fingers in their lapels about. And now what they want to do is they want to continue to be on the cutting edge. And they want to be the example that everybody else has to follow. And the way they are looking at doing that right now is by identifying themselves as a sustainable, renewable, energy conscious institution that is going to figure out how they can reduce their carbon footprint and how they can be a showcase for what other institutions can in fact aspire to. Okay. What's fascinating about this is that students several years ago identified the potential of putting solar panels on our golf carts for, to recharge them. And they weren't really successful in being able to implement that the way they'd hoped to. And so the idea was out there, but it was languishing. And now having an uh, enterprise here in Sarasota that's pioneering this technique is, is very exciting. And it's, it's going to be a high visibility effort, and it's going to make a big difference. Well, the new college is certainly very much about sustainability and really pioneering efforts in the community and working in conjunction with other organizations here to really promote the ideas of sustainability and actual practices. And so it, there's a wonderful partnership naturally with Ecotrans Alliance in the heart of their mission and what they're all about in uh, the transportation arena. And so they are able to bring very practical uh, on the ground, literally, um, realization of that to us now as we uh, work toward uh, really moving in this new direction. Where Cruise Car and Ecotrans Alliance is going is a direction that fits right in with uh, New College's history of being on the cutting edge of technology and innovation. Uh, it just seemed like it was a perfect fit between our two organizations. New College, a small liberal arts college, and yet we've got outstanding students coming from around the country and from 25 foreign countries uh, who come here Environmental studies is a, a huge uh, program here at the college. Our students and their families are interested in the environment and what we can do to help to preserve and protect it. And those are the missions and the messages of Ecotrans Alliance and Cruise Car as well. This one, unlike that vehicle, is an automatic. So all we're doing is we're turning the key on. And then right here, the, the only thing you have to concern yourself with is there's a forward button and a reverse button. So it doesn't get much easier than that. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to be looking at the whole fleet of vehicles here on the campus to see how efficient that is, where these vehicles are, and if there's efficiencies that can be found there. We're going to be working on trying to improve student transportation. Right now we have a situation where students will sometimes drive from their dorms to classes. We may be able to uh, eliminate or reduce that. And we're also looking at uh, just beyond the campus in a broader community context. Uh, we're in the process of negotiating the possibility for students to travel on the local SCAT bus system for free, which would hopefully reduce car travel. We're looking at every different part of our transportation and trying to see in particular how low-speed vehicles and in particular solar-powered vehicles might help uh, improve local, things. We want to be part of the growth of what goes on here in the sustainable energy campus and we want to be able to bring other campuses to this facility and show them how they can also ultimately reduce their carbon footprint. New College and uh, Cruise Car are so close together that we can do things together that are unusual and we are both committed to the same outcome and so it's a perfect partnership fit. So tell me, what exactly is a low-speed vehicle? A low-speed vehicle, it has the ability to go only between 20 and 25 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, it's electric. 
and it has an ability to be driven on public streets. What makes these cars unique? These vehicles are looking like golf carts, but they're a whole lot more than a golf cart. So a low-speed vehicle has a series of safety features that have been added to it because of state and federal requirements. Mm -hmm. And low-speed vehicles are legal to drive if they're registered with a vehicle identification number on streets that are up to 35 miles an hour. So that's most neighborhoods, isn't it? Most neighborhoods you can drive a low-speed vehicle in. What's unique about these particular low-speed vehicles? Well, the low-speed vehicles that we sell have solar tops mm -hmm. and they have electric plug-in power. So we call them solar electric hybrid vehicles. And they operate between 20 and 25 miles an hour, which is part of that legal requirement for a low-speed vehicle. So they're faster than a golf cart, typically. So how often do they need to be plugged in? A low-speed vehicle, our low-speed vehicles will run about 40 or 50 miles between charges. Now with the solar panels on them, they'll run an additional four to five miles. If you are very interested in staying just very close to your neighborhood, you can stay off the electric completely and just run off of the solar panels. So from one charge with the solar panels, you could go 40 or 50 miles? Is that what I understood? Yes. So perhaps you would want to turn uh, your electricity on once a week and plug it in once a week mm -hmm. and then operate it during the week and then always know that you There's have There's no question plug. that electricity um, also generates carbon. We know that. Um, but we have solar panels on our vehicles. These solar panels will allow a vehicle along with the batteries to go 40 miles on a charge. When you look at the use, and we will do this, we will look at the use of, this, of the vehicles on this campus, and we will determine what kinds of vehicles they need to get from point A to point B and back to point A, a again without ever using a battery, uh, without ever using gasoline. But the most important part about this is that the solar energy will be able to support the transportation needs of many of the vehicles on this campus. They may never plug it in. And if they never have to plug it in, then your con contribution to carbon is zero. And that's So how the long have these vehicles been in existence? The idea for cruise car started in Ken Chester's mind about five years ago. Uh -huh. He was on a golf course, and his electric golf cart ran out of steam. Well, Marianne, let's hear what Ken Chester has to say on the topic. And here I am in the sunshine state of Florida. And I'm wondering why I am sitting in a vehicle that has no electricity, yet could have a solar top that would enhance the um, distance that this vehicle would go. And ultimately, we'd be getting from point A to point B. As a result of that, we created Cruise Car, which is a organization that now designs and sells over 50 models of different transportation vehicles that are all solar and that's how the evolution of this company started but from that point we went on to evolve into a company that focused on sustainable transportation and we look at sustainable transportation as yes the 50 models that we now produce but we also look at sustainable transportation as to looking at facilities such as new college and looking for ways to incorporate their activities so that they too can become sustainable and they can participate in the renewable energy revolution that is going on not just here in, uh, in the United Marianne, States. can you but tell globally. me what hopes Ecotrans Alliance has for Sarasota County uh, and the world? Well basically we believe that it's time to uh, deliver sustainable transportation. Mm -hmm. We believe it's time to transform from gasoline to solar electric. And we believe that that can start in Sarasota. We think that we can have special solar electric trolley zones. Uh -huh. We think we might have preferential low speed vehicle routes, just like we have preferred bicycle routes. Mm. We could have preferred low speed vehicle routes. And I think what we want to do is have this transformation occur here and just so it will become a beautiful model for the rest of the world.